now it's time to reveal the most sensational cyber diva of them all. Her blend of sex and politics gets our vote for number one hottest woman of the web, Obama girl. The internet has been amazing. For my career, it's helped me because it helped me gain a lot of exposure. Hi, I'm Amber, and you might not know that before I decided to be a model and an actress, I really wanted to be in the CIA. These days, Amber Lee Ettinger is anything but undercover. In June 2007, a political parody that appeared on YouTube became the biggest viral video of 2007. year and a half before the election, there were like 30 candidates, nobody really knew exactly what they stood for, and so all of a sudden this video comes out, and so it's, forget, healthcare reform, hot chick right now. She could be singing about Abraham Lincoln and we'd be interested in it. And it's funny because no one refers to her by her name. She is Obama girl. Like, that'd be awesome if that was her real name. It raised more than awareness for Obama, I could say that. A lot more than awareness. Amber's song, I Got a Crush on Obama, was soon seen by more than 50 million people. A big debut for the small town girl. I knew I always wanted to be a model, um, but when I moved to New York, after graduation of high school, I attended FIT, which is Fashion Institute of Technology, and I specialized in intimate apparel. Intimate apparel just suited me best because that was my favorite thing to buy. Plus, I feel like um, they also don't have bras to fit women that have natural breasts. So I was like, I need to start making good bras for women like me. <laughs> Eventually, the designer turned to modeling. But I would get approached on the street to do this and that, and I started out modeling swimwear. And that led me to Miss Hawaiian Tropic Pageant, where I won Miss New York. An appearance on the Howard Stern Show in the summer of 2007 led to Amber's rise as a web celeb. I was Miss Howard Stern for the month of July, and Ben Rellis, who is the creator of BarelyPolitical.com, approached me, and he played me the song, which is Crush on Obama, and it's written and sung by Leah Kaufman, and I love this song, and I thought it was so funny. So I was like, this is a chance for me to act silly, like a cheesy pop star, and profess my love for Obama. So I was down for it, and I said I'd do it, and we shot the video a few days later. You can rock me tonight. I got a crush mm. on Obama. We didn't have a huge group of people filming it, but we did definitely draw a lot of attention. People were like, what is this girl singing about? What is she doing? At one point, I was singing on the subway on 42nd Street, and I was in the subway. We had, you know, girls dancing in the background, and people kind of got into it in the city. I was in Central Park, I was sitting next to a couple guys on the bench, and we had them singing the chorus. I always said, like, I wish I had known it was going to get as big as it was, because I would have, like, brushed my hair that day a little bit more, so you know what I mean? Like, I didn't think of it, that it was going to get this huge. The day after the video was released online, Amber was an internet icon. I've never heard my house phone ring as much as it did. I had every news station in New York and God knows where else calling and sending cars to come and get me to go on, on the news, and I, I, I had no idea. Like, I was not prepared for it at all. Amber made appearances on CNN and The Today Show. The video received so much publicity that Senator Obama released a statement denying any connection to Amber. We have actually gotten a lot of emails from people claiming to be from his camp, and they all say they loved it. The success of Amber Lee's first internet outing led to a follow-up video. In Obama Girl vs. Giuliani Girls, Amber Lee and her posse take on their Republican counterparts. And that was a really great video because I got my friends involved, two of my best friends, and then there was Giuliani Girl, and it's kind of like a battle, like Michael Jackson's Beat It video, so it was really fun. Because of Amber's appeal, suddenly young people were focusing on politics. She's impacted a whole generation of girls who are trying to do the exact same thing. There's a Giuliani girl, there's the Hot for Hillary girl. I searched on YouTube and there is now a Dennis Kucinich girl. She's got a thousand views, but it's true and she's nasty. I'm Jessica from Santa Barbara, California. Amber, which candidate do you support in real life? Who am I voting for? That's a secret. Always will be.
With more than 50 million people singing her tune, we vote that you'll be seeing a lot more of Amber Lee Ettinger online and off. She's super. Oh, I'm a girl.